What's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Child of Adam Ghoul Roleplay, where we have our character enjoying the sun, or lack thereof, but just enjoying the light is what I wanted to say, and have the rain caressing down their face, and then just experiencing living during a place where there is so little really to live for. Now, as we're at this raider camp, I think it feels really cool to look up at the sky because in a world where there's this been radiation hell you have people who can still kind of admire a certain beauty there's still color there's still feeling there's still existence it's unfortunate existence and it stands as a testament to human stupidity as we destroy ourselves you know that's actually a pretty fun discussion the uh, discussion about humanity I'll remind you that you must be 18 or older to attend the army recruitment seminar during second period Interesting, the announcements are still going. I've never been in here. This is my absolute first time. And the reason I came in here rather than continuing on our drug quest is because I needed access to a bed. Why does the boss always make us meet in the basement? I hate it down there. Oh my god, did they set that trap up as like a joke so it lands on your head? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, she died under her desk because when the bombs fall, you hide under your desk. I think an office desk fan should make sense right now. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in a shadow. Alright, we're yeah, sneaking through right. here. Gotta cut down on the jack. Here, I'm gonna pull out some Molotovs. We got a lot of them. Well, this guy's missing a head. God, what is it with that creepy bear helmet? Where did Bosco even find that thing? This is where you get the creepy bear helmet? Oh, whoa, whoa! Holy crap, I tripped a trap and was totally safe. I didn't realize that this is where the bear helmet happens. That's cool. I just haven't found my way into there yet. I'm really curious how effective the bear helmet's gonna be too. Oh wow, they can just hear us. They're not exactly sure where we are, but they're hearing something. Go ahead and get that so we can get the six experience. Look at the heads everywhere. Get a grip on yourself. God, are they just all above us? Because I haven't seen a single raider down here, but we just keep hearing them. Overdue book. Oh, 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 oh. Are we good? Are we good? And that any radio found on a student will be confiscated. Any radio found on a student? So, do you think that the uh, Bosco guy, who is clearly insane, is just uh, hanging out in one of these places because he likes all the constant talking that's going on? You know, I've never really used the book drop-offs. Return over... Yeah, return the books. Two books. Spend tokens. Toothbrush, toothbrush, yardstick, undamaged camera, sugar bonds, clean dog bowl. I guess you do these because it gives you access to... Okay, we're still in caution. Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. Really, when enemies are nearby? What about with the fact that nobody even knows I'm here? Oh, damn. Okay, we gotta clear out a couple people first. They know I'm here, sorta. They keep hearing footsteps. One guy even found us. Where is this place? It's really creepy with all the heads on everything. And that's a guy being hung by hooks over there. Who decorates these? I guess if you're crazy, you might be decorating them. Death Clyde, nice. Oh. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Okay. Scoot in. Alright, we should be able to get a headshot from here. Got it. We might want to start doing some, like, ninja stuff, too. No, we'll stick to explosives for the moment. Explosives, have, I think, will just work better in a lot of things. Got that one, too. Ooh, we're just a little sniper. What is that? It just fell down. Don't you over soon. Can blood drip off of dead bodies? Scared, huh? You should be. Whoa. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm seen, I'm seen. I? Christ. Who, who? No sense. You? Oh crap, I missed that shot. All right, we're gonna have to go. Where'd that little fucker go? All right, we're, oh, we're hidden again. Interesting, they, they just don't know where I am. 
All right, you are really having a hard time with. Yep, you just walked into a pole. Got him. 22 shots left. Still on caution. Oh, damn it. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Got him. Wow, we are cutting through these guys. All right, so they think I'm over here. They see people dying. But truly not enough to, like, indicate where I am. Oh, wow. We got a lot of cool stuff. All right, we got this guy right there. One of you's got to go. Oh, no, you're both moving. All right, they're both hiding up that way. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. You've been seeing your friends die. Okay, I can't really see through the green dot to identify if I'm looking on their head or not. I need to stay back here and then kind of... Oh, crap. Don't disconnect. Now, controller. Bad time. So, I use rechargeable packs in my controller. And unlike the Xbox... You get you don't have an indicator when it's like hey your control is getting low. It just sort of will disconnect. All right, he knows I'm over here, but he doesn't know exactly where. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust Got you too. I hear the next one to my left. There you are. Wow. We are ninjas. That's amazing. I hear jokes all the time about people saying that when you play Fallout, you start turning into a uh, sneaky sniper character or a sneaky archer character. And that's exactly what we've just been doing here. I forgot how much fun it is sometimes, though, because it's like you're playing your character and we haven't had a silencer or anything like that. And all of a sudden, we just quietly slip in. And now the announcements are back. Hold on. That mine is going to go. Got it. Nice. Oh, wow. They just don't know what's happened. They don't know what went on. We were just picking off heads. Oh, that felt really good. I loved that. Still in combat. Can't use it. We've taken a lot of people out, but the game is still saying we're in combat. All right. Nobody here. Machine gun turret. All right. We're in hidden again. Part of the machine gun landed here, so we can grab some stuff. Nice. Spatula. Ceramic bowls, which are all very useful. Hop over. The Come on. I just want to get on. To there you go. I think I would notice that all my friends are gone. That's. I look forward to that and uh, upgrading the AI when eventually it's like, you will know when somebody has disappeared and they'll be like, oh god, Frank is dead. Like, I think that's going to be really cool. It'll Because the sniping or sneakiness is really fun, but it definitely okay. is, can be OP, you know? Like, if, if the people just forget that, you know, their best friend died next to them. I mean, I God, I do love the hey, Skyrim stuff, there? though, where you basically have this character who gets shot in the sure, face with an know. arrow, can't find you, and then just goes, ah, I guess not, whatever. Oh, I thought I saw another... Uh, note of some kind. Alright, we're gonna come back down here because we seem to be in a spot where it's really quiet. Nobody's really noticing us. Got it. Oh, we got it. Perfect. Oh, everything we've wanted. All the guns, all the experience. Oh, everything is good. Oh, that was nice. It was getting a little tense because last episode I, I hadn't had the chance to save once we had, you know, started going into this place. It's always a little spooky when you're walking around spots without how is that bowl even in there? It's really intense when you start walking around because you just haven't had the chance to save. Which is something that I think is... I've, I've I mentioned this before, which is a mod that basically would allow the me to like just go, Okay, I'm stopping now and save the game. I think that would be useful because Dark Souls has that. And it's nice because then if you don't hit a bonfire, you can stop. But it doesn't necessarily change the experience and the scariness. And also, I would argue that it could almost make it more... Or not more scary, but at least create new scary dude people on hooks that's gotta smell horrible anyway that's got to make things a little bit more scary in some places because now you are more incentivized to stop whenever you don't need to find a bed and run back to one so you're less likely to constantly be going to a bed because you don't always need it to leave the game but you do need it to save your progress if you you know if you die so that's definitely makes sense more bowling it's just you and me bowling oh we're gonna do this 
One of these days we'll pull a strike. Ha! Oh, we did it! Oh, goodness! That's worth taking the desk fan. Oh, yeah, we did it. I'm excited about that. One strike, finally. Oh, that's a Jingles. Get rid of the Jingles head. Don't need to bring any attention to us. We walked past that battle cap mine. Holy crap. I What was the trigger? Ooh, what was the trigger for this? Jeez. Dead person on the stairs. Oh, oh, we got wires. We got wires going somewhere. Plasma cartridge. Terminal novice. We have five options now because we picked up the uh, bobblehead from the gunner's place. We all right, we're in. Ah, oh, it's just spotlights? Oh, we might as well get rid of those because sneak has definitely become a huge part of what we're doing in this particular location. Huh. It's so interesting being a sneaky person right now. Oh, what an interesting problem that we've run into. Look, there's buff out over there. Can I... Can I kind of, like, sneak my way around this? Hup. That I can. Hup. We're still hidden, too, after doing those jumps. Let's so begin... Sneak off here. Buff out. That's the bull. Buff out. Got it. Toy truck. Don't really need a toy truck right now. Alright. Toy rocket ship. Uh oh. Turn off the light. Came from my right side, but we're gonna move this way. Ooh, this person. Oh, okay. We're back up top exactly where I remember us being. So, I just had a moment where I glanced over and I got scared. What the? Uh oh. Oh, wait. Are you the one looking for me? Well, I heard a woman's voice, and you are a woman. So, it would potentially be you. God. This place is... Oh, wow, that guy's on a ladder and dead. No, what are they just burning stuff for, either? Anyway, I had a conversation that I wanted to talk about at the beginning. Holy crap, hello! You're a little disappointed after that. You're like, oh, I'm gonna get him. Oh, I thought it said missiles. I'm gonna get him! And just get shot in the back of the head. God. I didn't even know he was coming down. Is that Jet in the stand? It is Jet in the stand. Anyway. Wow, there's just too much fun stuff to chat about. Ooh, hold on. We could do, like, buff Jet or buff Tats. Psycho Jet, once again, I keep hearing is really good. Let's let's try a Psycho Jet. Let's do a couple of them. Because I, if I'm gonna use Jet, I'm probably gonna use Psycho too. That's, that's what I expect. Advanced terminal cannot do it. We made the decision not to do that. We made the decision to continue get action boy and uh, Made the decision to uh, continue to move up the Wow, he died from the bomb on a ladder. Oh Physics Yeah <laughs> God, I love the little physics things. It's super fun Another sleeping bag There's a little quick save again, and they have it on top of a mattress, which I I think makes great sense You know, it'd be more comfortable Anyway, I was going to talk about, it's the uh, society types. That's basically what, when people are talking about societies and like, are we going to blow ourselves up? They typically are referring also to society types. Uh, society type, you know, is, oh, I've talked about this before. It's uh, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. And 0 is, I'm honestly going to get this little mixed up. Oh, another dude. Oh, he's not dead. Wow, you got all the way to me and were able to stab me once. Didn't really do much because it's a little stabby weapon and I have 15% reduce from humans. So that was nice. Okay, so I think it might actually be 0, 1, 2, 3. I don't, not 100% sure. But basically, let's say 0 is 0 society. 0 for 0. 1 is the society we are in. It's basically a society that's figured out how to split the atom and generally other variety of cool technological feats like video games and filming video games and dancing to music from not from a live band but from recordings you know like general technology that we have oh I thought I fell in between the building anyway the idea of that is basically that society is our society and that society according to a lot of scientists is a society that's most likely to destroy itself because once it figures out stuff like the atom bomb it's like hey I think I'm gonna use this on other people we have the science, but we don't have the morals and the ethics and the kind of the forethought that makes us go, maybe we shouldn't blow all each other up. Society 2 is one that's basically immortal. It's a society that doesn't really have war, it's a perfect society, and it's safe. And it's the, so this, oh, 
turn off the light. And it's this society that you can imagine, like, uh, it's not Star Trek. So Star Trek is actually Society 3, which is basically they say you're, like, on the level of gods. And when they say that, they mean, like, you could, like, if a, your sun was going to explode, you could fix it. You would have a way to make it not kill everybody. So that's kind of the difference between type 2 and type 1. But what's fun is we are, if I think we're type 1, right now and we're moving our way to type 2 and it's really hard to get to type 2 because oh, fell down because you have to get through the whole not killing yourselves part and that's really difficult and at the fallout universe did not manage to get to that part and that's actually what's really interesting about a lot of the general like how one does nuclear war theory so when you're doing politics like that they start imagining it as like um, what's known as MAD, which is Mutually Assured Destruction. Or another form, I think NUTS, there we go. Uh, NUTS, but is supposed to stand for like Nuclear Utilization Tactical Strategy or something like that. And what they're referring to is that the MAD one is like, you're go everybody's going to die if we start using bombs. And so it's important to imagine that when we're using bombs, we need to think of them like... Like how if imagine like a Mexican standoff kind of thing that might be a racial term now I don't know so you but you know what we mean by that is that it's two sides everyone's gonna die if we fire the gun the nuclear bombs are supposed to be used similarly to how you would take a hostage because you're basically holding a city of human beings civilians hostage because it's really hard to fire upon military locations because these military locations are typically underground and very secure how did you miss? You missed three times. You had an 81% chance of hitting. Jesus Christ. So, that's a, that's a scary way to look at it, but that's kind of how nuke mad theory works, where it's like, we're going to, ooh, vault lunchbox, a lot of these. Somebody died in the cart. Oh, wow, that was an interesting, and he was drinking. Let's see, where are we? Oh, we're in the uh, lunch, oh, cool. So you have a situation, that, now the nuts one is the idea that you actually, you don't you like a f shoot. Wow, a lot of buff out and stim pack before this guy died. Anyway, it's the idea is that you don't use nuclear weapons on civilians like you would as a hostage situation, but you use them against military forces. The argument is to use nuclear weapons this exact same way that you use other force, you know, just other weapons. We currently don't shoot at civilians. So we don't have to start shooting at civilians now that we have nuclear weapons. But it goes back to this level of like, well, it's all, oh wow, not there yet, that looks scary. It's this kind of level where people are like, well, you can say that nobody's gonna use the weapons that way, but how are you really going to ensure nobody does without also blowing them up in return? Hence the mutually assured destruction situation. Because how, you like, if you had a bomb that could blow up a city, it's like, well, you just don't want that to happen. And then it's like, well, what do you, are we just gonna normally storm into some place without using nuclear weapons in order to fight that way? It's like, it doesn't always work quite that well. Wow, they, uh, only one of them wants to fight us? All right, well, let's take out the turret real quick. They don't seem like they're gonna fight us yet. Yeah, they're not marked in red. Okay, we're gonna put on the, uh, the military thing for a second and we're gonna just walk in see what's gonna happen here hello raiders hey. oh, okay man, what the hell you guys weren't marked as scary ah god I can't open doors right holy shit god that scared me all right well we're gonna be able to pick him in the face and just stop his swing pretty easy level 22 Guess you can get higher damage explosives now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Woo! We get new explosives at the chemistry station, and our explosives do 25% more damage. Which is great because I'm just gonna throw this out here and close this door. And we're just gonna wait and hear this big old explosion outside and go, ha 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 ha. I'm waiting. You coming? Nope, you're not coming. Oh, what? Oh, crap. I tried to switch to a new weapon, but uh, here we go. Tick tock. Uh, we're more likely to die with our own frag grenade being there, so let's do this. God, they are heartily hurting us. 
Oh god. I hit the wall. Out again. Oh, we got her! Look at how little damage these humans do to us. Beauty human! Bosco! Oh, we got a headshot up! And he's dead. Wow, this gun works out when we need it to work out. So apparently there's still some people around here. I don't see any more mines though, so that's nice. What, he just decorated with heads on the way to his chair? Vice Principal Kavanaugh would like to remind the swim team that if he finds water all over the basement again, they will all receive detention. Damage resist five? Huh. Oh, I wonder what mods you can give this. That's an interesting idea. I'd be interested in giving that some. Whoa, Fat Man. Bingo. Unstoppables. All damage from an attack. That's cool. Bosco's terminals. A lot of cool other stuff here. Don't really need a lot of these. We've actually upgraded a lot of things pretty much. Ooh, and the sleeping bag. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that real quick. Pop, pop. Uh, auto saved. Uh, we got a little fatigue and we're a bit hungry now, but that's aight. I mean, come on, we've got so much food. We just mongrel dog meat. Oh, actually, we haven't cooked that. Mutant hand chop, please. Mutant hound chop, please. Ooh, that's right, it removes our radiation mutant hound chops. That's right. I hear another person still. There is still somewhere. You can have a pipe submachine gun? I did not know that. I, that makes sense, though. But you can't have a pipe shotgun. You can have... A fun! I've had a... Everything's starting to sound like footsteps these days. Enough of that! Ha <laughs> ha! I make jokes. Who's there? Alright, where are you? Hello? Ooh, we have a ability to upgrade some of our armor that we're not using right now. Alright, I just keep hearing the person above us being like, What? Huh? Huh? You like, you didn't hear all the explosions and stuff downstairs? <gasps> Ooh, generator room's gotta have a fusion core. Gotta have it. Alright, hold on. We gotta sit in the chair real quick. That, I feel like, is an important part of the experience of being in this. You already have several days worth of yeah, there we go. I like it. Now, let's go ahead and check out the terminal. I want to see some of this. Wow. A lot, a lot, a lot of lore here. Shamrock Tap House Before Dawn. Ooh, cool. They're just taking these places out. Ooh, that's interesting. Fuck this keyboard. Someone's going to think I can do this job better. That's interesting. They're trying to poison me. It's the water. It's all poison. Oh, so he went insane. I, I guess this dog had like rabies or something in it? Need water. Safe water at the basement. No poison. Interesting. A beast. Other gangs must have sent it. Hang from their chains. Oh, he's slowly going crazy from some other effect of the dog. Oh, that's really interesting. Good boys. They brought me its head. Tower Tom's pushing up daisies. Oh, wow. I love how they are able to talk about certain people who've died in these, like, for these different raiders. So you, you know that they're paying attention to the wasteland. You definitely feel like you're leaving an impact. Well, so Bosco went crazy with that head thing. Totally was losing it. There it is, the fusion core. Oh, we got a final dude. Where are you, bro? Oh, there's two of you. Well, you're going to be an easy couple shots in the face. Wow. You just look like you really hurt. Uh, let's get some critical hits, and then we're going to do a headshot after we get that critical. Oh, we didn't kill him, though. He's on fire, which is pretty sick. Ow, I'm getting hurt from that. <laughs> Just burn. Just burn. Get this fusion core is what I wanted. Got it. Wonder blue, too. Then she burned. Perfect. All right, so that fusion core made this really worth our time. That was perfect. God, there's a lot more stuff down here, too. Broken train. It's a whole subway down here. Oh, I love how they burn now. It's good. Good to see it happen. All right, so I was going to... Oh, and there's a dog. Hello, dog. Get the dog. Did I get the dog? Nope. It's a... Uh, there we go. Got the dog. Is it dead? Nope. Dog's still alive. Holy crap. Dog can climb walls sideways. Dog exploded. Alright, we're just gonna raid her waste from up here. Oh, you have 93% chance of hitting. 
He has a sword! Oh, what a cool look. Ooh. Caution. All right. There's a lot going on down here. This looks familiar too, but we're not gonna, we're, this is not the time to check out this place. Hold on, is there a bed? All right, broken through this lock here to see if there's a bed in this direction. This is just going and going. I, uh, I don't really want to keep diving through here. A lot of cool stuff in the cash register. Ooh, that was scary. I thought that was a robot. Okay, so I am uninterested in exploring that whole area right now. We have a save that we can do here. Then we can escape through the subway or through the top. Either way will work just perfectly. Get our quick save. Oh, perfect. I am ecstatic. We have our badass character. We are rocking this. We got another fusion core. I mean, wait a second. Hold on. We had, we have three on us. We were nine, we were six away. Six away. Oh, that's super cool. All right, dudes. Thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And of course, by the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.